Hello, my name is Chin from Chinese Medicine. I'm currently a part-time student librarian in the main campus. In today's video, I would like to review a book that I found on ProQuest eBook Center, which entitled Diagnostic of Traditional Chinese Medicine. In this page, you can see there are three methods to assess this book. First is to read online, which is the method that I've chosen to review this book today. Second is to download the full version of this book by clicking over here or you can choose to download individual chapter by clicking over here. There are in total four chapters in addition to the introduction as well as the diagnosis of traditional Chinese medicine. After clicking the read online, you will jump to the cover page of this book, which look like this. Before I begin, I would like to introduce some of the icon over here to help students to browse the book more easily. First is to download the full version, second download the individual chapter, followed by copy and print icon. Next is the share link button where you can click on this icon and copy the link directly and share it to your friend. Beside, this is the citation where you can choose the format according to the requirement, for example, Vancouver, and copy and paste this into your written assignment. Next is the highlight as well as the add note features where I will demonstrate later in this video and it is followed by the add bookmark where you can click on this icon and add bookmark to the particular page or you can click on the corner of the page to add it manually. After that, you can click on this star icon and go to the pages that you have bookmarked previously for example like this. Next. Let's look at the content of this book. Chapter 1 consists of the introduction, which mainly emphasizes on the concept, content, as well as the principle of diagnosis of traditional Chinese medicine. Chapter 2 will be mainly focusing on the diagnostic part, where it will further divide it into four sections, inspection, auscultation and olfaction, inquiring, as well as palpation. The third chapter will be emphasized on the differentiations of the syndrome and the book will end with chapter 4 where they will guide you to how to write a case report. Other than that, one of the best part of this book is the table where different syndromes with similar signs and symptoms and manifestation is compared side by side with each other to allow students to differentiate clearly and more efficiently. For example, like this. This is particularly helpful for students who are in short semester 1, where diagnosis in Chinese medicine is one of the core modules. Next, I would like to jump to different parts of this book to provide a better perspective. This section of the book is slightly different compared to the previous part, where there are different approaches being applied. For example, analysis is provided for students for more explanations. Next, you can Click on this highlight button where you can highlight on the part where you feel like it's important for your study or you can choose to add note for example like this and edit, save it and it will appear like a small note at the corner of the page and you can double click in the future to add or minus anything from there and you can click this cancel button to delete the whole note. I hope this video provides a better understanding of this book. If you have any further questions, please do not hesitate to contact one of our librarians. Thank you.